video and today I'm gonna do a one week update going on two weeks hair review on my mattress Indian curly hair I bought the bundles I bought three bundles and I bought 18 inches and two 20 inch bundles and it came out to be 165 and I also bought a six silk base closure 16 inch and that came out to be 105 and all together it was a total of 270 when I got the hair the ends were pretty great nice and curly full um the hair came in a green box and inside the bundles came in three plastic wraps you know the standard plastic wraps you get when you're buying bundles from a hair site and I ordered the hair on a Saturday and it didn't ship until a Tuesday and it took about two days to deliver so the hair came on a Thursday um, there was great communication between me and the guy Simon because I was worried about when the hair was gonna ship and I emailed Simon and I asked him how long it was gonna take he told me that since there wasn't enough silk base closures, they were waiting for a new shipment to come in. So, then he was waiting for a new shipment to come in in order to ship my order. So, yeah, I felt like it was good communication. He wasn't rude with me. He's super patient, even though I kind of was, like, annoyed because it was taking forever in my opinion. But when I got the hair, I could wash the hair. There was no ta no tangles, no shedding, no smell. I co-washed the hair in Herbal Essences, Hello Hydration, and when I washed in Silk Base Closure, there was no shedding, no tingling, but there was some extra lace towards the front of the closure about like this much, but I decided to cut it off. I will show you how much there was, but I lost the piece that I cut off. And so I made it into a wig and I sew it down as if it's like a sewing, but it's not. So I sew it down to make sure if to get like a good feel of the hair to make sure it's good hair or not. So I wear the wig throughout the day. I don't take it off at night. I sleep with it. Um, but in the mornings I get slight tingling in the back. But it's not, you know, annoying or unbearable, but it's tangling and you're gonna get some tanglings with curly hair it's a lot of maintenance for me because in order for it to not look so big throughout the day I have to keep wetting it and um, detangling it so it's a bit much for me because I have to wake up earlier than expected in the mornings to um, detangle the hair because I can't just walk out. You can automatically tell I'm having a bad hair day because you can just tell that the hair needs to be like fixed up in the morning because you can't just get up and leave with curly hair in my opinion. You have to actually wet it, put product on it, or at least detangle it for the most part. People say that they like it big but it's a lot it's a lot of work for me and I tend to find myself getting in the shower or spraying my hair into into smaller sections just to detangle the hair and by adding product to the hair and detangle it it doesn't get as big and poofy by the end of the day but without product it gets really big and it gets really big way faster but this hair doesn't frizz unless you don't detangle it. So if you just wet the hair and go, you're going to have some frizzing. But if you detangle it, wet it, you won't get any um, frizz. It'll look defined somewhat like this. I put gel in it instead of the curl enhancing smoothie because with the curl enhancing smoothie, it gets big. So if I put gel in my hair, it doesn't get big by the end of the day. So I'm happy about that. So, yeah, overall, I rate this hair a 5 out of 5. It's great hair. It has a nice curl pattern to it. But it's just a lot of work for me. 
But if you guys really consider getting this hair it's a great investment i'm not lying i bought this hair with my own money 270 for some hair is a lot in my opinion but yeah thanks for watching my video i hope this video helped comment like subscribe thanks for watching bye